what's up guys i'm going to take you on a journey today i'm currently wearing the exercise dress by outdoor voices this video is not sponsored i bought this dress with my own money this dress is built for exercise which i think is really interesting i've never really heard of an exercise dress before and i've never seen anybody climb in a dress like ever i've seen a couple of other things I thought it'd be interesting to see how this dress fares in climbing, but first I've got obviously a couple of questions. First is the functionality thing. Is this dress going to hinder my performance? This dress actually has a really nice like underlayer, so it's basically what Yanya was wearing when she won her six World Cup titles this season, with a little added fabric for the skirt part, obviously. Another thing is will it be comfortable both like, you know, to wear, but also will it be comfortable climbing in front of others? You know, climbers, we get a couple of high knees, high feet, will it ride up a bit? I'm going... I have to get over the fact that I'm going to be upskirting a lot of people when I'm climbing with this dress, but I'm gonna show you my experience climbing in a gym and also climbing outside. Let's just see how this thing does.
Hey guys, so now that my climbing session is over, I have a couple of thoughts. Let's go over the pros first. Right off the bat, it felt really good to be in this dress. There's just something that feels so graceful about being in a dress. I feel like it actually helped my technique a lot better. And I'm being serious about that. I know that we historically have viewed dresses as more feminine and hopefully in the future, both guys, gals, and all folk will feel comfortable wearing dresses because there's no reason that dresses need to be gendered, right? I used to be a competitive swimmer, believe it or not, and we used to wear these technical suits that were very tight from our shoulders to like our mid thigh. And this kind of reminded me of that and I feel like translated really well into the performance. I really like having that under layer that's really tight and sucking you in. It just feels really aerodynamic. There's a better word for that, but it's escaping me. A big question that I had was, will this skirt fabric thingy hinder my performance? And actually I found that it didn't at all. When I was on a climbing route, the skirt would kind of like bunch up a little bit. And if my legs needed a little bit more mobility, it wasn't an issue. The skirt would kind of like sweep away and get out of the way. I got more and more comfortable with the fact that it rode up a bit. I think that initially it was a little bit weird and felt kind of like I was flashing people. But in reality, the under layer is like basically what people wear to boulder in the summer anyway. Another pro that I will not be weird about bringing up is that there is no potential for camel toe. If you wear leggings, you will be aware that sometimes when you're getting your high feet up and climbing and you know you're doing your crazy footwork sometimes a little bit of camel toe is inevitable and with a dress it can remain your secret i i did not think that i would bring that up in this video but i'm glad i did because um let's normalize it and also talk about the fact that this um hides it so both normalizing and shaming you for um having that Ugh. I can't do this YouTube thing right, can I? Another thing is that it's really versatile. I walked up to the gym wearing this dress and like my leather boots, here's a little OOTD. There, there's a reason why I didn't become a fashion and lifestyle YouTuber. For the cons, I honestly didn't really find that many. One thing is that if you are bringing your knees up and your legs up kind of high, it does ride up. I found that in between roots, I was trying to shimmy the like under layer shorts spandex part of the dress down um, to kind of like reset it. But I also found that the sweatier you are, the more that the under layer will like stay put. And I did get very sweaty today because you guys do not realize how hard it is to like, not only do you have to find a route that you can climb on camera and have it like look cool, but also you need to get those like multiple angles. And when you're filming alone, as I am, it can be pretty tough. You have to like climb the same route over and over again. Lots of climbing, lots of sweating, the stress stayed in place. So the riding up part didn't really bother me during the latter half of my session. Like I said earlier, this is not a sponsored video. Outdoor Voices did not ask me to do this. All the opinions are my own. I bought this dress, I really like it. I might have like a discount code, not because I'm like an influencer or anything, but it's just because like regular people can have discount codes if they buy things. So I'll link it in the description if you're interested in getting like some percentage off of your first purchase or something. I don't even know what the discount code is. I'll like have some information here. Outdoor Voices does not really have like a sale section, so if you're looking to buy some stuff and you're not sure whether or not you want to pay full price, discount code, very good option. Also fellas and non-female people, dress is a really cool option too, regardless of, you know, your gender. I want to see you crush V9, V12 in a dress. I think that would be freaking sweet. And if not, you can always like, you know, get it as a gift for one of your one of your friends too. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I know my vlogs are some of my more popular videos, so luckily for you, I have a little playlist of vlogs that I'll link over here. I'll also have like a playlist of outdoor vlogs over here that you can check out. So I hope to see you scrolling through those and until next time, climb on, I guess.